the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Boom. You know what time it is? Well, it's time to get a workout in. It's a little back day. Uh, it's a pressured back day because you might hear my son yakking on his monitor over there, which is such a buzz kick. Um, but, you know, I don't think he's going to go down, but he's going to have some quiet time because daddy needs some me time. And also my wife's out of town, which is just a disaster. Um, so I'm just solo, a solo dad, daddy daycare. Um, so not only am I going to have my Morph X5, but I already had this because I went to go pick the kids up. And you just know when you pick the kids up from school, it's, you're in for a, a bunch of little mini fires and meltdowns in the car and strapping them in there and getting them out and then putting them down for bed. And I just needed something to nurse me through it, you know, so I got a rain. Um, and it's like, I don't need all that caffeine, but it's almost like a, a, a binky, you know, it's like having a, uh, it, it's there for me if I need it, you know, and that's half the battle sometimes. You got that, got that comfort in your hand. Anyhow, um, don't need all that. I certainly don't need more. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm sponsored by these guys, so we gotta have a little bit of both. Let's get dangerous. Dark wing duck. Oh I'm in. I'm in there. I just went in there. I'm gonna get it. That's my eyeball. Let's do this. Maybe it's an uncut day. Uncut. Like my hair in a while. Uh, I forgot to put the scooper in there. Nice shot, Miles. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, man, I'm complimenting myself all day, building up my own self-esteem. You know, they say to parent yourself as an, a responsible adult to get out of childhood. Uh, I said, no, I'm going to be Peter Pan. Because <laughs> Peter Pan killed the Hook, I think. Or did, Ru no, Rufio got killed by Hook. And he didn't grow up. But Rufio is the coolest movie character probably of all time. So he lived a, a short but good life. But actually a long life because he was just a kid for a long time. Why am I in here? This was, this was autopilot. This is my office. Um, we're going to the garage. That's what we're doing. We're having a back day. Come on, guys. What the heck? All right. Um, that is still pending. Why don't you figure it out, dude? It's not that hard. We've got good Wi-Fi in here. Load the video. All right. Hope my audio is working. Last time I did one of these, somehow I screwed something up per use and uh, didn't get any of the audio. So that was a nice waste of a good quality session. Bunch of good lifts and some zingers in between. You guys remember Darkwing Duck? <laughs> he had it going on a little bit. I just remember that theme song. Somehow in my mind, I'm, co I'm combining it with Darkwing Duck, they're more than good. They're great. That's uh, Ty Tony the Tiger. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why those got switched up in the wires, but there's a lot going on up there and there. You know, um, most geniuses have, have that kind of thing happen. Anyhow, let's keep moving here. Oh no, the school bus is here. Oh guys, oh it's so scary every time. Why does it do this every day at this time? Why is it so consistent? Why don't they just stop coming by my house and have these kids, are they gonna scream? Not today. Oh man, what a great day, you know? You just never know what's in store or what's not that's gonna make your day because it didn't store. It didn't, they didn't, they didn't tell me I have a small wiener. So um, let's get to this back workout. <laughs> okay. Now, it's towel season, by the way. It's so hot out of here, and, and I'm loving it. Tennessee is heating up. And that means it's like every workout is not only a workout, but you get like sauna benefits out of it too, which they say is great for longevity and sweating. Should probably throw some music on because just my voice might start to irritate you after some time. 
And I also feel a little pressure to fill the, fill the void there. Okay. Let's get some music going. You know what I'm saying? Darkwing Duck, maybe? Since he's on my mind. Darkwing Duck. Let's see what this sounds like. It's been a while. Well, it was supposed to be on the Bluetooth here. Pa pardon me for the minor inconvenience. Pardon. Here it is. Get dangerous. I knew that part. Ooh. All right, so back day. Back day is not back right now in my programming. Just been a little all over the place lately because of the business of life. It's been an arms focus. You know, not as much on, on the chest and even less on the back. My back's pretty solid. But so I can usually get through a good back workout in like a half hour. But to my, today I might throw a few extra uh, pieces in there just because it's going to be a fun one. There he goes again. Darkling duck, baby. Can't, stops me in my tracks. Um, so, you know, I'm just kind of playing with it. Just kind of playing with it, having fun, seeing where it goes. Not playing with, you know, you know what I'm saying, with the back workout. It kind of takes your body over. I'm not even doing it. It's just such a good theme song. It's in my bones. You know how many hours I wasted on Darkwing Duck? You guys probably can't even hear the music. That's fine, though. You could probably hear it through my body movement. Anyways, um, I think it's back workout today. Yeah, I think so. Dark wing duck. Sufficiently winded, sufficiently winded. I'm getting my blood flowing. It's all good. Be good. Okay, that was a sick rhyme, dude. Sick rhyme, dog. Whew. Let's get a little warm up in. Hey neighbors, what's up? It's good to see you. That's me saying hi to all of you. Get dangerous. Oh, <laughs> never gets old. I might play this the whole time. It's better than my old playlist, which was just, um, I was going through a weird time in my life. I was getting really, really up to just, uh, car alarm mixtapes, so just different car alarm sounds. And you'd be working out and you'd be so about to hit a set and it just, mm, 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 and the anger would rise up through your loins into the lift and you just hit PRs every day because you're so pissed off. <laughs> oh, Darkwing Duck, are you kidding? It's going again? You guys know about Darkwing Duck? Yeah, Sir Darkwing. You know Mr. Darkwing? As we'd say in the South, Mr. Darkwing. Thank you, Mr. Darkwing. They call, you, call me Mr. Miles out here because we're in the South and they're heck of proper in a Southern way. All right, come on, come on, come on. Back on track. Uh. All right. Dark wing duck, oh! <laughs> dark wing duck! Get dangerous. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, I was gonna switch this bar out. So, um. Oh, dark wing duck? No way, dude. I love this song. Uh, so, I got this easy bar, and I like to do. Underhanded grip, bent over rows with the easy bar. Just hits your, blows your back up in a slightly different way. I fit into the positioning a whole lot better. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Give it a shot.
think you'll be surprised. Uh, dark wing duck. Dark wing duck. Get dangerous. Huh. Oh, whoa. Oh, it took me over. Oh, I got a stinger almost. I better change the song. I'm just going to take me over all day. Oh. oh, no, it's the same song. Just stop dancing. Stop it. Make it stop. Oh, stop it. Oh, oh, stop. Four strength. Oh, oh. That's all I needed was just to slow down. Something more low key. It's the song that's playing. It's called Low Key. Not low key. Low key. All my friends in New York yeah, was never good at anything. The only time my eyes are closed. Oh, oh that's, that's something I could do. Passion dripping through the melody. Bah. It's a little warm up, just a little warm up. Let's up it up. Send it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Throw a half cookie on there. By half cookie, I mean 25, which is a little more than half of 45. 45 are your cookies. So like yesterday when I was bench pressing for place, I was like, yeah, that's four cookies on there on each side. You know what I'm saying? Not a flex or anything, but I was flexing when it happened. Dude, dude, golly, I'm blowing my mind all the time, dude. Low key, know me. Ah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oi. Summertime sunshine, feeling so free. Sitting by the ocean, toes in the sea. Riding with the top down, hands in the breeze. Living in the moment, that's how it's supposed to be. You can't throw shade on me, I'm a child of the light. Throw me in the dark and I'ma shine twice as bright. They say I'm bound to keep it lucky. Hey! Know me. We're going two cookies. We're going two cookies, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'd say it, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that was a very hard thing to understand. Who doesn't want... Oh. For a second, I thought that I didn't see the red dot there, like, we're not shooting, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, again, I know you know what I'm saying. Um... But it's a nice thing to throw on the end of a sentence, especially if you say it super cool, like some of my, some of my friends back in the locker room, back in those locker room days in college and in pros. And they'd be like, say something super simple and then end it with yam saying. So it's like, Y-A-M, it's like a yam, like a sweet potato. And it's like, yam saying, dude. Yes, I love yams. That's a really great complex carbohydrate to fuel your body for activities. Oh, yam saying. Orbit. No big deal. I think it's a big deal. I work out to your music. Nashville Connect game. I gotta go check something real quick. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, don't go anywhere, all right? I gotta go check something real quick. I'm gonna be right back, okay? I promise it's gonna, be, I'm gonna do it. I'm back, guys. I'm back, which means I, I it was a built-in rest period, so now I can go hit this this two cookie one. All right. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. oh, you know what? That was gonna be a working set, but it was feeling so so very good. It was feeling so very good that I'm gonna go up a little bit because I think I might be able to hit a new PR today.
I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna slap a heifer on there. A heifer on this heifer, which I just found out was like a female cow or something. Like a fat one. Hallelujah. All right, so give me a minute on that, okay? Just one, a minute for your time. Ah, oh, my finger's so dirty, <laughs> but it tasted kind of sweet because of the pre-workout that was on it. Oh no, the school bus, what's up kids? Don't say anything. Oh, I got through it, I'm safe. They had to drop some kids off down there in my neighborhood and then they made it back. And they had to pass by my house again. And I got the pop top on the garage, you know, and, and, which is always great until the, uh, until the bus comes by or a neighbor walks by and I have to interact and engage when I only want to do that with you. <laughs> I only want to do it with you. Ow, dude, what the heck? Don't lead with your teeth. All right. Woo, not this song. I want a different song. Woo. Just had to do it there. I just had to, uh, to wave to somebody. Just kidding, I love my neighbors. I love them all. I love all of you too. What else we got here? Good day? I think it's a good day for a PR. I think, honestly, whatever amount of reps I get on this is going to be a PR because I don't think I've done this amount of weight before. 80% sure. So, honestly, if I can get five plus, that'd be big, right? I think so, maybe. I think this is, uh, it might trick you, believe it or not, it might trick you to make you think that it's 275. <laughs> the bar is 35 pounds, it's a 265. It's like, I bet you didn't know it. <laughs> Okay. Look at what my father does. Ugh. 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 Ah. Ah. That old dude don't care as Mr. Babe said himself. But you don't know that I'm sitting. How am I levitating? That was actually a real fall. You might have thought it was for comedic timing, but it was almost a disaster. And I'm such an athlete that I avoided major injury. Oh, it's a good day. No, it's great. Oh, so that was a little heavy. I think I'm going to go uh, take that half cookie off. Just eat. Eat, eat 10 at two cooks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying? Hey, say. I hope you guys know I'm not like this all the time. This is, uh, I think weights in general is an outlet for me, but specifically to do weights like this, sun's coming out, I got the camera on, I got no responsibilities other than getting a great pump, pushing my body, trying to hit PRs, going heavy, and being an absolute goofball. Because the rest of the day, I gotta be really buttoned up and be there for my kids, call my wife soon, make sure she landed, connect with her. Uh, it goes a lot deeper than the goof, you know what I'm saying? It goes more into the ball. And the ball, goofball, falls where the heart is, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that anymore. Stop doing that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you should copyright that. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it would be available. I know you're thinking it wouldn't. It would because I would do it Y apostrophe A-M. Like, yeah, you know I'm saying? Like y'all is Y apostrophe A-L-L. -L. Oh, dude, I'm going to make millions. I know it. Uh, oh. I chose to wear bright colors today because I want to feel bright on the inside. I feel like a uh, like a junior high girl or a high school girl, and they walk into their closet and they're like, 
Who am I going to put on today? What am I going to be for those boys? But it's not for the boys. It's for my wife, dude. I wanted to see a bright and bubbly dude today. Although she's out of town, so I don't know why I did this. Ah. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Could have used a little more. A little more break time might be on that one. I gotta go check on my video, see if it uploaded yet. Uh, Jay Purvis Talent Agency wants to see a couple videos. I gotta upload them. They're taking forever. It's like I'm trying to be prompt, you know? It's all about professionalism. So, see you guys. Yeah, submitted that video. Battery died. In that time, submitted the video. Chased a wasp out of my garage. Changed the battery. Wiped my butt. We're, I did a lot of stuff, dude. Let's do this. Get back to the, to the work here. I got one more set here. And then I'm gonna do some weighted pull-ups. Because what's better than pull-ups? Weighted pull-ups. Duh. Ah. Ah. Might tell you how long the break was. <laughs> you know. It was, it was to 12 reps. All right. Um, shit, the music keeps taking my body, dude. Uh, uh, Way to belt. Whew. Huh. Uh, give myself a little break here. Already warm. I think I'll start off with a cookie draped to my nutsack on the first set. Did he just say Anthony Kiedis? It was in his rap. Anthony Kiedis just so happens to almost rhyme with... Or with We just, um, whew. it's a goofy day, hey? Eh? It's a goofy PR, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I used to think that maybe I was just doing goofy stuff when I was a kid, because that's how I could make people laugh, get them to finally pay attention to a uh, kid with a bowl cut and Coke bottle glasses. Um, but as I've aged a couple, a few decades, I've realized that even when I'm all by myself, I am a weirdo. I mean, you give me a mirror and I'm good to go for a while doing whoop. Uh, so, you know, I guess the bottom line is just be you, you know? I got nothing serious to contribute today other than these freaking pumps. Oh, come on. Ah! Ah, but we all got different sides to us. So I got to let this side out here when I am all alone uh, so that I can go be a family man inside and be a businessman when it's time to take care of business and, uh, and do pull-ups when it's time to do pull-ups and you've had enough rest time and we all know it, dude. Come on. Ha, ah, overhand today. Let's see, at least on the first set. Oh, hurts the elbow a little bit. I got a tweaked elbow. Oh yeah, I got a tweaked elbow, and usually that only hurts doing triceps, but it's been acting up on me a bit lately, where it almost kind of feels bruised to the touch. Even though I haven't jammed it, I've just been doing a lot of like overhead heavy tricep extensions. And uh, when I first learned to dunk in high school, stay with me, I know I dart. I went to jam it and somebody accidentally hit my leg and boom, came down right on this elbow. And I remember thinking, dude, I think this might be serious. It might be a little chip in there or something, but 
the, the, the combine was pretty close at Stanford. I couldn't afford to miss out on the gains, dude. It was peak off season going into senior year, starting to get scholarships. And I just had to say, mind over matter. I'm, this, I'm not injured. I'm not injured. So maybe it might be that flaring up a little bit. But to, after that, my, my elbow cooperated. It's like, yeah, yeah, all right, man, I, I bow down. Bow down. You say, I'm not injured? I'm good, bro. Don't worry about me. Whole career. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to try 45 degree. I don't know if you can see that. 45 degree. Uh, I think that might be easier on my elbow. I could totally break down the science. But I'm also into telling the truth lately, so that was a lie. I cannot break down the science. But how I've always approached everything is trusting my gut. I knew nothing about X's and O's. Had everybody fooled when I was playing, playing middle linebacker. I pretty much was like, uh, A gap, hook curl. A gap, hook, okay, A gap, run, hook curl. I didn't know what was going on. Just pure instinct, running off the gut. He's running that way. There's a few people that uh, he's going to come back in here. I'm going to meet him in the, in the hole. I do the same thing in acting. It's a bunch of techniques. Actually, all that pretty much sticks with me. I've done Meisner, Stanislavski. I learned it all. I went to the SAG after conservatory for a year, just showing up every day, pretty much. And uh, I couldn't tell you which methods correlate to which names, but they automatically, instinctively come up if and when I need them. I don't have to try to pull from them. If I'm going through a script, I just want to be, it's boom, it's my gut. I know exactly what to do. If I can't get there, it's almost like my, my subconscious is like, hey, remember this? Try this. And uh, I know for me, that's where I have to run. I can't, I can't go thinking numbers, science, facts, somebody else's opinion. Ooh, that's a big one. Especially in art. Everybody's brains are wildly different. There's no right or wrong way to do anything. There's the product. Um, I don't know if that helps anybody. Trust your gut. Uh, start listening to it at least. I think it could serve you. Hitting the wall on those ones. I actually got to be careful on the full extensions. Even on lat pull downs, I've got a 70% torn labrum on the shoulder. And I notice when I do the big bodybuilder stretch on anything in that range, I feel like, oh, hey, we're losing. We're losing stability here, and it's going to rip that final third. And uh, I don't want it. I surely do not want that. So I'm okay with a little form police comment saying I didn't go to all the way down. Mostly you can sug on it with a G, so it's not a bad thing to say. Because <laughs> you don't know what that means. I don't either. Sug on it. Ooh. Ugh. Hmm. Do I go weight it again? Yeah. I don't want to do double digit pull ups, body weight, no way. Shake my fragile ego if I can't get them any more than the weighted. What does that mean then? I was cheating my reps on the, on the weighted that I can only get like three or something. I don't know. I just don't want to have to face it. You know what I'm saying? I hate that I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I'm coming off as a caricature of Eric Bugenhagen. And I think it's only coming out because I hear him saying that. And every single time it gives me this visceral gut reaction laugh <laughs> because he says it so inappropriately. It doesn't, it, it, nobody needs to, we know what you're saying. It's a super simple thing. And he just throws it on the end as like a nervous ending. And uh, I think it's hilarious. And I think, I think that's in my subconscious and it's just coming out. And now that I talked about it earlier, it's like spilling out more. Uh, all respect to the man. I'm not trying to be here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but he's a great example of, uh, you know, somebody that actually knows a whole lot about People stuff, surely a whole lot more than me, lifting weights and muscle and all that stuff. He's got all the certificates and things, and people kind of deem him more of a meathead, bro, science guy.
but he actually knows all that stuff and he's come to the conclusion that I don't care what your studies say, the more you do anything, the bigger and better you're gonna get at it. And uh, it's worked pretty well for him. Again, hard to, hard to deny results. How you get there doesn't matter, as long as you get there. Um, so I always like to listen to different people and get different opinions and kind of make the decision myself. But he's also very entertaining to watch and just watch him riff and watch his mind work in real time. Uh, funny guy. Spin in the dark. Let's go wide grip. <laughs> wide neutral. Luck. I used to be stuck in the mud. Yeah, I was down, but now I'm up, up. It's about to turn that off. I'm just going straight up. Like a man, straight up. Uh, there were some other things I thought about doing, and now I'm kind of questioning if I want to. Uh, I think that the music is not allowing me to think the way that I want to. That or my ADD. Yeah, probably the latter. That's all day. What was that doing down here? Oh, yeah, probably back today. Yeah, weight belt there as opposed to, the, yeah, probably back. Camera's on me here. It's probably doing pull ups. Okay. Thought a neighbor was walking by. That would have been weird for them to see that. I guarantee there's people peeping through their windows around there. Who's that physical specimen? Oh, that guy's a weirdo. Let's get out of here. Um, uh, what else is there? Do I do a row? I guess I could do another. Yeah, low row or something. Yeah, hear how excited I am for that. That was actually sarcasm. I don't know if you caught that. I've been working on that lately. Did I, did I sell it? Did you believe me? So, now, you know what I'm going to do? Landmine. That's going to be the easiest thing to set up right now while I'm fatigued and time crunched. Here we go. Um, this might actually be a helpful thing. Oh, I got to remember if it's what the name of it is. Hmm. Pause, hold on that. Let me get a set in, then I'll look it up upstairs. I don't want to misspeak. Anyways, I have a supplement that I'm taking that's really helping my moods. And uh, I want to get the name right in case anybody else is. Well, actually, I don't want to get in trouble. No. You know, people uh, want to find a way to get people in trouble on YouTube by saying, You were giving medical advice. Like, no, I wasn't. Renob. Um. So I don't know. I don't know what's allowed and what's not. But I've been breaking rules since day one. They call me a modern day renegade rebel. Like, um, what was that guy's name? Like, that bisexual man that was like, apparently a bad, a bad boy playing stuff in there. It's like everybody's favorite actor that first starts getting into acting and they just say his name because um, they think that makes them sound like more of a legit actor. Uh, when, when I watch his stuff, well now I can't really say that because then I can't say his name. James Dean, that's what it was. Uh, anyways, he, he's like the first thing that comes to people's mind when you hear rebel. And I just think, I don't know, man. I, I'm not buying what you're selling. You're five foot six and 130 pounds. Not scared. You know, can't sell that through the screen. I don't, I don't believe it. How to believe it? Hard to get past that, you know. Kind of like that Chalamat gentleman. Brilliant actor, you know. I believe his eyes, his body. I don't know, man. Austin Butler, though. I mean, he might still be light. 
But, uh, but he bulked up pretty good for that Dune 2. The most captivating thing of the whole movie was him. And that's where he really sold himself as an actor to me. I already knew he was a great actor from watching Elvis, the Tarantino film. And Elvis was such a big, I mean, really dove into that character. And to see him go 180 degrees the other way and like sell that he is a complete badass. I mean, I got the chills in that first initial scene and he's slicing people's heads and every movement, you just, I bought it, dude. Like that, he's the real deal. Um, and so when a guy like that and Chalamet are, are kind of in a fight together. It's hard to buy into the fight a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Damn it, I said it again. Um, that was actually a, a note, with all due respect, the only note I gave, I went to the, um, the audience pre-screening of Extraction, the first Extraction with Chris Hemsworth, which was amazing so I got to see it before anybody else did and they do that the filmmakers will do that to uh, gauge the audi audience's initial reaction to see if they want to edit anything in or out at the end of the movie and kind of get a pulse for the movie which I think they only do one and there were some real idiots in my group and I thought you need to do at least five to ten of these to really sift out the dumb comments because some people just speak up because they want to be heard or they're like starving for attention so I didn't say anything other than the fight scene, I didn't buy into the fight scene with Chris Hemsworth and David Harbour. Because one, <laughs> Chris Hemsworth versus David Harbour. Hard to buy into the, the fact that David Harbour could hold his weight against Chris Hemsworth, just looking at the two. But also, he was hammered in the scene. He was supposed to be crazy drunk. And he's slurring. And, it's, and so I, I spoke up about that, um, which I thought was fair. I wasn't trying to be a jerk or be heard. Uh, they didn't make a, a change with it. And I think probably generally, maybe I'm more critical on that kind of stuff because I came up in you know a contact sport. And so you know how people measure up against people and you see a lot of fights. And um, you know those were two totally different weight classes there. So I um, can't remember why I brought it up, but it doesn't matter. It's a motor mouth day. Uh, I think what I might do on this, but just for the sake of not wanting to stand back up and sit back down and load plates up and load them back, I'm just going to stay at this weight, kind of blast this out for as many reps as I can get, and then wait 10 seconds and, and do it again for like five. Do that a few times, you know? You know? All right. Oh, that's too light, aren't it? I hate having to be like 20 reps on something. <laughs> oh, I can feel your presence. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking of a counter argument. And that was a warm upset. That was way too light. I got to add some weight there. Um, just thinking of a counter argument. Miles, that might be some BS because you say that Chalamet can't stack up to, to Butler physically. That doesn't make sense to you. But Butler kicking down Dave Batista somehow does. And that's a fair comeback. But yeah, it somehow does. Because the way it, he sold that character and his physicality in every ounce of his being, you just believe that character is the most tactical badass there is out there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the buildup of the character. It's the introduction of him. It's, uh, it's his portrayal of it. Totally believed it. You know, he's more agile. He knows every angle. He's like a little Conor McGregor, you know, kicks him, kicks big Batista in just the right joint angle right before his, you know, foot's going to hit the ground and slips out, you know. And, uh, yeah, so there's that. And now I have to go throw some more weight on this in order for it to count as a working set. And it hurts my heart to have to do this. And by heart, I mean, I'm just, I'm kind of winded and tired and I don't want to keep working out. Uh, and I'm kind of also a little stressed that my kids are probably awake and potentially 
mad at me, but I'm not willing to go look at their monitors to make sure of it. You know, cost benefit there. If I go look at them, my workout's probably done. And if my workout's not done, I'm just gonna sit here in a constant state of angst, which nothing new. So I guess this is the better route, you know? Their angst versus mine. I'm joking about that. I know their time schedules pretty well. They're still snoozing. And I just went peeps a couple minutes ago, so I would have heard something then. Maybe let's uh, get some a little more up temp. Oh yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Go get it. <sighs> ah. 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 Dang, this ground is dirty. I need to get that blower in here, mop it up a little bit. Ooh, here we go, right back in. Ah. Ah. Ah, I don't know about this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go up there. I'm done, guy. You guys. Oh, I'm about to die on battery here too. 